Is your GPA competitive? What is a competitive GPA? And what are the most common medical school GPA requirements? Yes, your GPA could make or break your chances of acceptance. So in today's video, I'll give you all the stats you need to know and tell you the easiest medical schools to get into in order of GPA requirements. Before we dive in, hi, I'm Nadine Evans, an admissions associate at BMO Academic Consulting. Make sure you subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you get into medical school, make sure you click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Check out the timestamps in the description of this video if you're looking to navigate to specific sections of the video. Your GPA is important in order to be competitive in the medical school admissions process, but why is it important in the first place? Admissions committees highly value an applicant's transcript because to them, how you perform academically in your undergraduate studies is an indication of how you may perform in medical school. If your science and cumulative GPA are on the lower side, it will be difficult to convince the admissions committee that you are a strong candidate. The pressure, stress, and difficulty of medical school isn't for everyone, so in the admissions committee's eyes, if you've struggled with your undergraduate coursework, you're likely not capable of handling the medical school workload. The good news, however, is that many medical schools realize that assessing candidates based solely on GPA isn't effective for selecting the best applicants. Many students have a hard time adjusting when they first attend university, so a few lower grades here and there at the onset of your studies isn't as serious as low to average grades throughout your entire studies. Similarly, some students choose to enroll in notoriously difficult courses because they think it will look better to the admissions committee when really, these courses weren't required and they only serve to pull down your overall GPA. While medical school GPA requirements are still an important part of the admissions process, many schools realize that there's so much more to candidate selection than just grades and test scores. So how much weight is placed on GPA? Even though there's no magic number corresponding to how much weight is placed on GPA in the selection process, it is undoubtedly important. The AAMC conducted a study that surveyed admissions officers at 113 medical schools across the U.S. to find out which areas of application data are important when determining which applicants should be invited to interview and which should be offered acceptances. Admissions officers ranked personal statement, community service, letters of recommendation, MCAT score, and both cumulative and the science GPA as the top five most important factors for interview invitation. Of these five aspects, cumulative and science GPA GPA were at the very top of the list. When it comes to offers of acceptance, both cumulative and science GPA remain in the top five most important considerations, as does community service and letters of recommendation. However, GPA is less important and interview recommendation actually takes the number one spot when committees begin sending out acceptance letters. So from this one study alone, we can definitely see how important both your science and cumulative GPA are in the interview process and when admissions committees are selecting which applicants to accept and which to reject. What are the most common medical school GPA requirements? Each university has its own set of prerequisites for medical school, and many do set minimum medical school GPA requirements in order for applicants to be considered. Admissions committees have thousands upon thousands of applicants to review each year, so setting these minimum requirements really helps to weed out those that they do not feel are best suited to handle the rigors of medical school. While there are some medical schools that don't require the MCAT, many schools do and they also set minimum scores for MCAT as well. Some medical schools, however, don't believe in assigning a minimum acceptable GPA at all because these schools place a lot of importance on reviewing applicants holistically and they often review every single application regardless of GPA and MCAT scores. It's important to note that just because a school doesn't set minimum GPA or MCAT requirements, it's not necessarily easier to get into and most accepted students still have very competitive scores. So in general, setting the minimum GPA requirement at 3.0 seems to be a common practice between medical schools that assign these standards. It's also common to see different GPA standards in place for in-state versus out-of-state applicants. For example, at the University of Calgary, they set different GPA requirements for um, in-province versus out-of-province applicants, requiring a higher GPA for the non-resident group. There are also medical schools that set much higher minimum GPAs, like Virginia Commonwealth University, which sets their medical school GPA requirements at 3.3. 
According to the AAMC, the mean science and cumulative GPA of last year's applicants to U.S. medical schools was 3.45 and 3.56 respectively. However, matriculant GPAs were much higher at 3.64 in science and 3.71 cumulatively. Keep in mind that these numbers obviously represent the average statistics, meaning that there are accepted students with even higher scores than this and even lower scores. So what does all of this mean for you? That if you have a low GPA, you won't be accepted, and that if you have a high GPA, you will be accepted? Well, the truth is, yes, your GPA score is an important factor when considering whether or not you will receive an interview and acceptance letter. However, just because you have a certain GPA, whether that is a 3.5, a 3.9, or a 3.0, it's impossible to determine your exact chances of getting into medical school. And that's because numbers are just numbers, and most admissions committees are interested in a variety of factors outside of your academics. There are students with low GPAs that are accepted every day, and students with near-perfect GPAs that are Rejected. Each applicant is unique, both in their academic record and their extracurriculars. There is no exact formula, unfortunately, that says X and Y will equal admission. Instead, admissions committees focus on admitting applicants with good grades and test scores, strong dedication for helping others, and those that can demonstrate suitability for the profession. You might have heard that a 3.5 GPA for medical school is competitive, but that's not entirely accurate. What is competitive at one school is not necessarily competitive at the other. Indeed, applicants with GPA scores above 3.5 who score well on the MCAT have better chances of acceptance than those with lower GPAs, even if they did exceptionally well on the MCAT. So, for example, students with GPAs between 3.4 to 3.59 who scored a greater than 517 on the MCAT have a 70% acceptance rate compared with the 49.8% acceptance rate of those with the same MCAT score but who score between a 3.0 and a 3.19. If your GPA falls between 3.4 to 3.6, you can still get accepted, but in these cases, a strong MCAT score is really going to improve your chances of acceptance. Some of, the, some of the easiest medical schools to get into report mean matriculant GPAs between 3.5 and 3.65, which means that even if you have a lower GPA, you can still be competitive at these schools. What's important is that you determine what the mean GPA and MCAT scores are at the schools you're considering so that you can target your applications appropriately. So now I wanna go into the easiest medical schools to get into by GPA, starting with number 10. We have the Carl Illinois College of Medicine in Illinois, and their mean GPA of accepted students is 3.67. At number nine and eight, there's Virginia Tech School of Medicine and the Brody School of Medicine at East Carolina University. Their mean GPA is 3.66. Position seven, six, and five, we have California University of Science and Medicine, Ponce Health Sciences University, and San Juan Bautista School of Medicine, and the mean GPA is 3.65. At number four, there's Tulane University School of Medicine with a mean GPA of 3.64. Number three is the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley School of Medicine with GPAs of 3.58, Number two is Meharry Medical College with a median GPA of 3.54. And the number one easiest medical school to get into by GPA is Howard University College of Medicine in DC. And the mean GPA scores of accepted students there is 3.51. All right, so that concludes another one of our videos. How does your GPA compare to the easiest medical schools to get into? Let me know in the comment section. So hopefully you found this video helpful, so please subscribe, like, and leave any comments if you have questions that I didn't cover in today's video. If you'd like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks again, and see you next time.